Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to talk through the new Oracle with you. Um, I say new, it's probably about a year old now, but this is the GHD Oracle, which is um, kind of a curling device. So, whew, I'm a bit out of breath. So as you can see, I've got a bit of a different background setup. You can probably see my little mirror there. I'll just move that out of the way for a second. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't been kind of keeping up with me, that's sticking up there. If you haven't been keeping up with me, then you won't know that Joe and I actually moved. So this Wednesday actually on Instagram TV, I have a little before and after of this room because this room was just a blank room. There was nothing in it um, except for a couple of bits of furniture and um, it was painted, but it needed brightening up. So. We did it all ourselves, we um, put in carpet, we painted the place, put up all the pictures, we've got new furniture, my other furniture and this week as well I'm actually upcycling furniture so you've all that to look forward to over on Instagram. So if you're not following me already I'll leave my links below and you can check it all out there. So let's talk about the GHD Oracle. So. I was first introduced to this, I should probably plug it in. I was first introduced to this about this time yet last year actually. Actually, it would have been the 15th and I'm filming this on the 14th, so tomorrow yesterday. And sorry, just gotta pull that in. Um uh, I went to an expose event with my mother and while we were there I was introduced to the GHG Oracle by some of the GHG team in Ireland. I think it was the Dublin team and the Mayo team. And we were introduced to these new products that were on the market. So, of course, I had to give it a go. And they were doing demonstrations and they used on my hair and I was just in love with it. Straight away, I was like, I want it, I need it, I gotta have it. Um, so I'll kind of show it to you there. So as you can see, it's a bit of a weird one and basically they gave us like a good bit of information about it they said that it goes up to i think it was two a hundred oh i'll have to check the boxes 180 or 220 um oh i'm wrong sorry 185 degrees and basically it says that it like fans so when it, when i turn it on you'll be able well, you might be able to hear it and there's like little fans and basically it cools and heat and cools and heats and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to set the curl as you're curling. So basically as you do it, it just sets it along the way. Um, there is definitely a technique to this. I have been practicing and once you get the technique down, it is quite easy. But the first few times, I'm not going to lie, I was put off by it because I thought it was a bit too difficult to use. Um, and they said, oh, you know, it's so easy, it can be used so quickly and all this. And um, I was a little bit put off when I got it. Um, one thing I don't like about this product, excuse me, is... Okay, so I love GHG. GHG is a brand. They're good quality products. All their products are good quality. I always get the GHG straightener and I had one in the past. It lasted me like four or five years and then it got stood on. Not by me, but it did and it broke. So then I had to get another one and I had to go with GHG again. And I got this one, which is the GHG uh arctic gold collection and that came out in 2005 i believe that's when i got it yeah we've been about christmas 2005 i think and i still have it today um just shows how good the uh, quality of these products are because it still works perfectly um but the thing about ghc is i love the quality of them i mean the color it still looks as good as the day i got it like you get this protection little thing with it i'm not sure hood or cap or something to go with it and then you get this with it 
and then this is a heat mat it's removable it's thick it's good quality inside is the divider and then the zip and probably one of the reasons i've been able to keep it so good is because i always return it into its little house you might be asking why am i telling you about the ghc straightener when we're here to talk about the oracle well the reason is with the oracle which i do know is expensive i think it I got this as a gift, um, but it retails for about 120 euro, depending on where you, go, where you go. But I think that's the average is 120 euro. 120 euro is a lot of money to anybody, okay? I mean, if I was going to drop 120 euro on a curler, I expect it to be of good quality. This is very, very good quality. There is nothing wrong with this itself. You get a little kind of, this one's silicone, the other one's uh, more like hard plastic. And it's just, again, a little cap or top or house or whatever for it. And that's to stop you from burning yourself. However, that's where it stops. With the GHD, which I think I paid about 180 probably for it. Got all that with it. And with this, that's it. Just the box. There's nothing else there. So I've had to keep the box to put it in it. And to be honest, I have to buy something to put it in because... It's just, I mean, if I kept it out like that all the time, sure, it wouldn't last that long. So, yeah, you just get the box and there's instructions then with it or whatever. And that's pretty much it. So I was really disappointed at that because for the price that I know was paid for this, um, I think it should have had much more high quality uh, packaging to go with it. Uh, what else? do I need to say about it I don't think I really have anything else to say about it other than that I am very impressed with it um so I'll do a little demonstration and show you how to do it also <laughs> well just while I move that that is not a stain I just realized that that's there in the last few minutes and I've just put on these clothes and they're just out of the wash so just in case you think that I stained myself when I ate my lunch or something that's not the case um so, I suppose first things first, as we better turn on. So that's the turning on sound, and you're probably not going to hear that. I'm not sure, but it, you can definitely hear fans. Now the problem with this is, again, I mean I suppose they say you don't need a heating pad with it, because it cools down, but let me tell you, you do need a heating pad with it because it still gets really really hot and it stays hot on the outside and they said to me you know oh you can touch it sorry <laughs> you can touch it and it doesn't like hurt and anything like that you know oh it's fine you can touch it don't touch it i touched it and it hurt me a lot and i actually bought silicone gloves which i should probably run and get so give me one second and i'll be right back i'm back so I got these um, silicone heat proof gloves um, in pennies or Primark and the reason I picked them up is because fun fact I filmed this video already and I was originally filming it for IGTV but it was too long by like literally this much so I decided I was going to refilm it and originally I was going to refilm it for IGTV but I was going to do a shorter version and then I thought you know what why stress myself out I cannot open this uh why stress myself out um and just do it for YouTube altogether so that's why I'm over here also I got these um these were featured I should say in my latest haul which is the pennies or primer call for September so I'll leave a link to that and in the little card thing and you can check that out too and see all the things I picked up then but these were in it and I got these uh three euro and after I filmed it the last time I actually um touched it with my hands because they told us you could and it actually burned me so I don't recommend it try it at your own risk um, she said to us, she said to us when we were there, she was like, oh, you know, try it. It doesn't hurt and all this. And we did. And it didn't hurt. And she was right. 
and then as soon as I do it myself for some reason it hurts a lot so yeah there's a certain technique to this you can't just um go in like you normally would you can probably hear Lola crying in the background and that is because she wants to go outside but she can't go outside because we have a lot of bees out there and I got stung yesterday um because it's impossible how do people do this okay so the silicone glove definitely works but the problem is when you're wearing the silicone glove probably doesn't help I'm looking out through the viewfinder on my phone but anyway um the problem is when you're wearing the silicone gloves it's very hard to actually pick up the hair and do it so I'm just gonna try it this way so yeah there's definitely a technique with this you have to kind of learn it as you go along but once you do it actually does become very quick and easy um although i will tell you i've only learned how to do these curls um you can also apparently do like beach waves and then like kind of hollywood waves as well but i haven't learned how to do those ones yet only these ones um this is a very good product though it's a very quality product but i wouldn't really expect anything less from ghd um so with this they say you don't have to curl your hair uh, my hair is naturally curly which most people won't know but it is and i'll just show you the technique so basically put in there clamp it down twist it down and then pull it through um, but yeah, my hair is naturally curly and they say you don't have to straighten it first, that this will do all the work, but I have found that not to be the case. I've done it when my hair is curly and it just doesn't really take out any frizz or anything like that. And I find that if I want clean, you know, um, more professional looking curls or um, neater curls, I would say, less frizzy curls, then you do need to straighten it first. So what I tend to do is I'll kind of maybe straighten my hair on day one and then curl it on day two and then I'll have curls for day three as well because I don't wash my hair every day. I only wash my hair about twice a week. Um, especially since I've gone blonde, although I do treatments as well whenever I can so a lot of the time I'll do treatments before I actually wash my hair and that way it'll help with the condition of my hair so yeah this is as you can see I'm getting through it quite quickly but I will warn you if you do get it it might take you a couple of goes to get the technique right because in the beginning it took me so long to do to um get through my hair because I end up having to go over pieces again and again and again um just because I wasn't confident on how I was doing it but once you get the technique it is really quick you can see how quick I've just done all that there and my hair is like really thick as well so as you can see like it's taken no time to do nearly half my head of hair like literally that, that's all that's left so if you are looking for something that's kind of quick and easy you know if you're going on a night out or something then i definitely recommend this product and the thing about this product is and the same with GHG, all ghg products is they are very expensive but they will last you for years they will like they are quality quality products and that is why i always go back to them when i got my last year when my last year she broke i didn't even look at any other hair straightening products because i already knew that the one that i had had lasted me so long and was such good quality and the only reason it actually broke was because someone literally stood on it It didn't pack up or anything by itself you know so so it's definitely worth the investment if you're thinking about getting um a ghg product then i do recommend it 
By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. They have no idea that I'm even talking about them. In fact, if if, if, if you're watching, which you're probably not, um, then hello. But no. They have, I'm a newbie here on YouTube and they literally have no idea who I am, I'd say. But because I believe in their products and because this is an interesting product, I want to show you guys. Okay, so this is the last of this. I um, also haven't got really a technique for the fringe yet. <laughs> Not sure if I'm supposed to do it the same way. No one's really taught me. But see, literally that took me no time at all. And the difference between that side and this side. And of course you can brush them out a little bit. Ooh, sorry. Guys, you would not believe the setup I have here at the moment. Um recently. Just before I was about to film a video, there we go. Um, yeah, just before I was about to film a video, my ring light stand broke, um, I, and that was usually holding my phone for filming. So now it's on pieces. So I have you propped up on books with my ring light behind. It's all a big thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish this off. It'll take me two minutes, and I'll be back to talk to you. And voila, there we have it. So, overall thoughts, uh, good quality product, uh, quick and easy once you learn the technique. This is definitely hot right now, as in, in even in my hand. Um, so the heat pad is necessary. Um, I really love the curls it produces. And yeah, I'm really glad I have it. On the downside, I think that for the price, you should definitely include some sort of, uh, you know, packaging the same way you do as the GHD straightener, such as, um, you know, the heat pad and the little kind of zipper up or pocket thing, you know, it's all heat resistant. And um, I think that for the price, this deserves the same kind of treatment. Um, as for these silicone gloves, I don't think there was any point in me getting them. I mean, they definitely do work when it comes to touching the hot things, but I maybe I just need some practice. I can't really, you know, pick out my hair with it, you know, as in section it off and stuff. So maybe I just need a bit more practice on that. But like I said, I will leave a link to the haul below so you can see everything that I checked out. Um, overall, I 100% do recommend this product if you're looking to invest in something that will last you a long time and that will reduce kind of your hairstyling uh, time, then definitely it is a good option to look into. Um, it is pricey, but it will last you a long, long time and it will stay good and sturdy and strong. Uh, so that's my overall thoughts on that. And one more thing, I just want to show you something that has nothing to do with the video, but it was a little present from Joe and I'm just in love with this. So everybody I think needs a fedora uh, this time of year and in fact I loved it so much that I actually included it in one of my Amazon must-have uh, blog posts. So it was a beauty must-have, or a fashion must-have, I should say. And because I love this so much, I included it in it. So I'll leave that post below. So if you want to check that out and check out where to get this, then, um, then that will all be in the information in there. So I think that's everything and I don't think I've left anything out. If I have, I will link them everything down below. And um, yeah, like I said, this video is not sponsored. It's just my thoughts and opinions on this little product right here. It is really hot, <laughs> but my, just my thoughts and opinions on it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, it would just mean the world to me here as I'm new here on YouTube. And please let me know in the comments if there's any videos um, that you specifically want to see or anything like that. And I will 
definitely get on that and try and do them for you while I'm sitting here with my little fedora and um, you know rocking those western vibes I feel like it's a little cowboy hat as well but yeah uh, thank you for everything and or thank you for watching I should say and I will be back again very soon bye